Today's the day. Today's the day I do something I never thought I would have to do. Jump on the fidget spinner bandwagon. What? What just happened? We just broke it. We just broke the fidget spinner. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Scrapman bringing you another episode of Dream Car Racing 3D. And as you can see, I don't have a car right now. And the reason being is because we're doing something a little bit different today. We're actually going to be do a bit building video. <laughs> we're gonna be building. We're gonna be we're gonna be doing a building from scratch, building a fidget spinner. I know. It's been all the craze on YouTube. If you haven't heard of it, you haven't been on YouTube. But I figured it might be fun to actually do a build video for once in a while, since I haven't done that in a- But I figured it might be actually be fun- But I figured it might actually be fun to do a building video where we go through the building process from scratch and come up with something ridiculous at the end of it. And I thought, what more ridiculous in dream car racing than a fidget spinner? Since helicopters are such a thing, with the jets propelling them all around, I'm pretty sure it's possible. So I'm gonna get my inspiration from some of that. But let's see if we can actually do this. My goal is to make a fidget spinner that will have the ability to actually fly up in the air. So we'll see if we can get there. All right, so the seat is definitely going to be invisible. Well, the good news is the seat is already a triangle, so I have my reference point for where I'm gonna build the fidget spinner arms off of. So I'm actually gonna put midpoint, oh wait, I can't, it's not gonna let me do that. What if I do this, put a midpoint there? There we go, okay, that works. And I can put another frame here and put a midpoint there. So now these are gonna be the center, the, the center points of that dip in the fidget spinner. All right, so now the tough part, we have to make curves. Curves are always a little bit weird. So I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna use this top left window up here and we are going to go. How does that look? Does that look fidget, fidget spinner-ish? So now the tough thing I'm gonna see, I'm seeing here is getting these things to actually uh, stay solid. So I'm just gonna add a whole bunch of angle locks on all of these there. So now it is completely angle locked. Hopefully, hopefully that helps us out. So now I'm gonna have to actually copy this entire thing here and paste it. How thick do we want the fidget spinner to be? I think that's, I think that's okay right there. So that means that we gotta, yeah, one block thick. I think one block thick is good. All right, so my plan is I'm gonna build one arm of it first and then hopefully I'll just be able to copy and paste that to all three sides. But we have to make this thing work first. So what I'm doing right now is I'm adding a third one and I'm gonna offset it slightly forward and this is gonna create the kind of 3D curve effect, I think. But I also have to manipulate these points to go out one as well. All right, does that look like it'll be okay? It looks like it'll be okay. Now we gotta connect everything. All right, um, I'm pretty sure this isn't going to be stable because we haven't added any middle support yet, but I just want to see how it looks when we spawn it in. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, we gotta add some support to the seat then, don't we? I'm liking the way this is looking though. This is, this is good. It's gonna be a lot of frames for such a little thing, but it's gonna be okay, I think. Okay, now probably one of the tougher parts, I gotta add the middle circle. All right, I got something. Let's see how this holds up. All right, what is wrong with, something's wrong over here. I gotta attach, some, these aren't attached for some reason, but this looks pretty, pretty solid. All right, now we have to fill it in with some panels and hope that uh, I can copy and paste this. I'm not too sure how it's gonna interact with the points that are attached to the middle frame here. This is gonna be a lot of little panels to fill in. What color should it be? I think black, I think black and red, obviously. No, I'm gonna make a red one. Let's make it red. All right, here is side number one. I think it's looking pretty good. Now I need to try to copy and paste it on a triangular symmetry. 
which might be interesting. Uh oh, I, I think I just, re I don't know if I can copy and paste this like that. Cause after you copy something, I don't think you can rotate it in this game. If I take this and paste it, I have no way to rotate this. Oh boy. So here's the problem. Our only options for copy and pasting and rotating are on the axes, and uh, unfortunately, with a triangular thing, it doesn't reflect on axes quite the same way, so I really don't think I have the option to rotate this thing, which is very unfortunate. Like, see, I can paste it in the opposite direction, but I can't paste it in the same direction, so the only option is to rebuild and replace every single panel that I just did. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna do a four-pronged fidget spinner. That's what I have to do. Four-pronged fidget spinner. That's the only option. All right, I don't know how this is gonna work, but uh, we're trying something here, and it's gonna be a little bit weird because the seat is a triangle, so it's gonna throw off the symmetry a little bit, but I'm gonna create a center point around here. Hopefully, this will stay together. I don't know how this is gonna work. But if I try to resize the seat, it'll move all of my points, unfortunately. All right, let's see if this is stable. All right, it seems like it's pretty stable. So now all I have to do is just copy this and reflect it. Nope, that's the wrong axis. Wait, why? Why is it not letting me reflect it on the other axis? Okay, we ran into another issue. I cannot, uh, I cannot rotate this 90 degrees at all, so we cannot actually have a four-prong fidget spinner, so we're gonna settle with a two-prong fidget spinner. I don't know how this is gonna work, but we're gonna go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and make some panels in here, and see how this thing works. We're technically almost done, we just gotta add some jet engines in here. Alright, let's see how this thing looks. <laughs> The angle locks. Wait, can I hide the angle locks? I better be able to hide the angle locks. All right, hide the angle lock. Good. And hide the frame of the angle lock. All right, so here is our two-prong fidget spinner. I think it might be sturdy. It's hard to tell. But now we have to add some jets to it and then some lift to it and see if we can get this thing to- how fast we can get it to spin and uh, spin it up into the air. I'm gonna add one point there and the other point there. So now that jet is facing that way, so this other jet needs to face the opposite direction over here. Is that right? I think that's right. There we go. All right, let's make sure our jets are max powered. I think we might be good to test out how fast this thing spins. Oh, boy, I probably should have made that. Well, we got the first test of the fidget spinner. What? What just happened? It stretched itself out too much. This is a- this is amazing. This is way better. This is the best fidget spinner I've ever seen. Oh, this is great. Okay, let's actually, uh, let's- let's make the jets invisible. Oh man, I'm- I'm almost gonna cry at this amazingness. So make the jets invisible and then add some lift to this thing. If this thing happens in the air, that's gonna be amazing. Okay, I'm gonna do something really weird here. I'm going to- I don't know if this'll tech this should technically work. Because of these are all these side panels here at a slight angle, I'm gonna apply lift to them on this side and on this side and see if we can get it to work. All right, so these will have a very, very strong lift coefficient. Yeah, they're going in this direction, so these will have a strong lift coefficient. And then I have to select the exact same ones on the other side. All right, and these ones will also have a very strong lift coefficient. So let's see if this works. Will this get us into the air? Flying fidget spinner, test number one. It's working! Is it gonna stretch? Is it gonna stretch? It looks like it wants to. It looks like it wants to stretch. Here, let's slow down. Oh no. <laughs> what happened to it? <laughs> what happened to it? Oh, this is turning out way better than I could have imagined. And by better, I mean entertaining, not like successful. <laughs> oh, look at this thing. I wanna add more thrusters. We have to add more thrusters. I wanna get that stretching effect again. All right, now let's see how fast this thing goes. We have twice the amount of thrust. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's, it's losing it. It's losing its structural integrity for sure. Is it stretching? It looks like it, it's, did we just snap this thing? What happened? 
Oh, this is amazing. We just broke it. We just broke the fidget spinner. All right, that th this is great. This is absolutely fantastic. Let's spawn the fidget spinner now. We need to go on a different map. We need to go on the mountain map. All right, there's the mountain. We're going up. How high can we get? Can we get as high as the mountain? If I do it, if I do it kind of like sp in spurts, I think I might be able to do it without uh, destroying myself. But we have it. We I think this is a success. I think we have a successful flying fidget spinner. It wasn't. I, w I was hoping I could. Oh, there it goes again. It broke. I was hoping I could get it to look actually like a fidget spinner, but uh, the game's capabilities right now they don't have that kind of rotation. Um, aspect that would make it easier. So for the sake of this episode, I didn't want to. I didn't want to spend too much time just trying to build that whole other section again. But I hope you liked what I did come up with, which is a a two a two pronged fidget spinner that flies and stretches and snaps in half. So uh, are you not entertained? <laughs> Why is it doing that? Okay, there it goes. It's broken again. Leave a like for breaking fidget spinners. Uh, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Welcome to the end screen. Well, you'll probably click away before I get to tell you to subscribe for more fun. And if you really like me, but like not in a creepy way, support me on Patreon. Oh yeah, check out this awesome video I made over here. It's probably even better than this one. Or it might be worse, actually. But if you don't click it, I guess you'll never know.